Hi, Survivors. It's me, Prepper Zan, reporting to you. Hope you guys are doing well, because what's going on in this world is not. Thank you, Queen, for updating us with this information. I've been traveling. I just got back. So I thank you guys for, thank you, Queen. Uh, thank you, Miss Hall. Thank you, Bernie, for updating us with this information. This came by way of Queen. Uh, it says another train derailment is destroying a federally protected river in West Virginia. As we can see, the, these train derailments continue to occur. There are agendas, y'all. Take precaution. Stay testing your own water, your own soil, and your own air. Don't trust the food in the area, the water in the area. I'm going to have to say allegedly, but that's what's really going on. Don't listen to these people telling you everything is okay. You be proactive and check what's going on around you. It says our Asian Railway Network is at it again, but this time disaster has struck in West Virginia. A train derailment on March 8th has resulted in an unknown amount of diesel fuel and all spilling into a river. According to the news, that river just happens to be one of the oldest in North America and is part of the National Park Service. The National Park Service, y'all, that area is pristine, just like that area in um, West Ohio. There's a lot of farm. There's a lot of off-gridders over there. A lot of my prepping friends in this prepping community have homesteads off the grid over there. Their water is amazing. Those mountains and all that stuff. That's a, those are really good areas, and they are targeting these areas allegedly only because I have to say it. But anyway, so it goes on to say that according to a press release from CXX, the train derailed in Sandstone, West Virginia, after it struck a road slide at about 4.51 a.m. on Wednesday. The crash caused all four of the train locomotives, trains, locomotives and nine empty coal trains to derail. There were three crew members on board when the locomotive caught fire. A conductor, engineer, and engineer trainee. CSX says that they were all evaluated and treated for non-life-threatening injuries. The company says that there is no danger to the public. Y'all don't listen to that. Don't listen to what these people say. We know that they are liars. They're corrupt. They're criminals. We know that there's agenda, allegedly. Agendas in place. These are war tactics, if you ask me. They say that there's no danger to the public as there weren't any hazardous materials on the train. It wasn't no hazardous materials, but you're saying all at all spill into the water. So that's hazardous in itself. But CSX does admit it has no idea how much diesel fuel and oil spilled into the new river. You see how they contradict themselves? It says that environmental measures are being deployed to deal with the contamination. This is awful, man. They just targeting our water, targeting our food. I mean, the air. This this news comes on the same day that Norfolk Southern CEO is facing a Senate hearing on railroad safety after the disastrous crash in East Palestine, Ohio. According to the news, Alan Shaw reportedly apologized, but the damage is done already during the hearing and promised to make it right. But they trains are still derailing everywhere. It's crazy. Um... The news reports that West Virginia Emergency Management said downstream public water systems were notified of the situation and are currently monitoring for potential public health impact. West Virginia water, American Water has reportedly also been notified and is now monitoring water quality. The organization has temporarily stopped drawing water from the New River and it will enhance its treatment process as necessary. Customers should see no impact to their service as a result of this action. Customers, y'all better check your water. Don't listen to these people. The health and safety of our customers is a priority, and there, and there are currently no drinking water advisories in place because of this incident. Wow. It added that if a drinking water advisory should become necessary, American Water will issue one. It's already necessary, y'all. The news say that this whole thing still could have impact on the environment, despite the fact that there weren't any hazardous materials on board. So diesel oil and all that diesel fuel is not hazardous to the water. And to the air, to the soil, the New River is considered one of the oldest rivers in North America, according to the National Park Service. It's widely believed that the waterway has been in its, in its present course for at least 65 million years. Wow. It once ran through central Ohio. Listen to this, y'all. They're telling on itself. Indiana and Illinois before going up into the Mississippi. But much of it got diverted about 10,000 years ago when it was impacted by glacial Ice, the service said. Y'all, these are pristine areas, farm areas as well. 
that are being targeted and, 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 and where these train derailments are occurring. I'm telling y'all, look into it. When the empty coal train went off the tracks, video shows some of the cars ended up in or along the bank of the New River. That area is part of the 53 miles of the river that's maintained by the National Park Service within the New River Gorge National Park and Preserve. When oil gets into freshwater bodies, it can cause significant damage depending on the amount involved. But they just said it wasn't a, a problem. Jesus. The outlet says that according to the EPS, oil spills in freshwater bodies can still cause significant damage, even though those sorts of spills aren't covered as widely as ones in salt water bodies like an ocean. Freshwater bodies are highly sensitive to oil spills and are important to human health and the environment. There is some good news, though, because the New River is a flowway waterway. The impact will apparently be less severe than if the diesel and oil flow into standing water. It doesn't matter. It, it's affecting the area anyway. Since the water is moving, the contaminants don't have the chance to clean to plants. These people just lie. That means it is less likely to contaminate the animals that eat those e-plants. Wow. <laughs> EPA goes on to say that oil can end up disrupting local ecology when it gets trapped within rocks in the water. The news say that CSX will be held responsible for cleaning up the derailment site. Now, we see how that go. Every time these people that cause the problem end up having to be the solution to the problem, the problem still remains. Same thing happened in Ohio. Those same people that was cleaning up the site that caused the, the damage was telling them to come back home. Everything's all right. And we saw that it wasn't. Don't listen to these corrupt people. Since the company owns 12 feet from the middle of the track to either side, the safety of our employees and the community is our top priority. Yeah, right. As we dispatch our teams to assess the situation and develop a plan to completely restore the area, CSX said in its release. Our team is in close contact with the local police and fire officials, and we will continue to work closely with them on our recovery e efforts. As we can see, these people are not going to tell us the truth of what's really going on. We are at war, y'all. This is going to continue hap continuously happen like it's happening now. And I have to say allegedly, and I have to say God forbid, because we don't need this. We don't need these types of catastrophes affecting the water and the environment. But that's what's really going on, y'all. And if people can't see what's going on, that we are at war. These are tactics of war. It's just, you know, I don't know, man. We have to really be careful, man, because the water, y'all, you need to check, check, check and test your own water. I was seeing some of the public water in these areas I was going into, y'all. It had like, it looked like it just acidy. And it looked like it was so polluted. And I always look at the water and test the water. I don't drink it. I don't put it in my eyes. I don't brush my teeth with it bathe in it none of that you know what i'm saying but i look at it and um i don't use it so i could just see uh, you know what the water's like and it seemed like in the last year or so the water's just been so nasty so murky so you know it just seemed like it has like all kinds of stuff in it y'all check your water don't 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 listen to these people check your soil check your air y'all we are in a lot of trouble and we have to continuously prep prepare ourselves pray Pray all day and stay out the way. Watch this world. Watch the weather. Smell your water. Boil and purify your water before you use it. Please follow me on Patreon for real, raw, uncut, unfiltered content. And if you're looking for land and bug out areas, I do have some for sale and for lease. And always keep surviving. Preprezan.com.